Okay, we're at a um, Boost Mobile or a strip mall area here in um, Detroit or Southwest Detroit. This is a timer. It's a T101. I'm making this for the customer as well as possibly someone else in the future. It's a few main principles to the timer. The one is actually the most important thing that typically people get wrong is setting the timer itself. This wheel pulls forward to clo uh, towards you. And then the pointer actually indicates the actual time of day. So if I wanted to set the time, you don't want to just try to turn the wheel because it's locked into place and you could break it if you force it. So you want to pull the wheel towards you and then turn the time to actually set it. So for instance, um, right now it's about 11 a.m. I would just continue to turn the time. You see it has 2 a.m., 4, 6, all the times are actually listed there. I would turn it to the 11 a.m. and then that would be 11 a.m. actually set up for the actual clock portion, the clock portion of the timer. These um, trippers, as we call them, there's a on tripper and there's a, then there's a off tripper. I've already preset the trippers, but you'll still need to set the time once the power is actually on. So the on tripper actually is just set with turning this wheel here this whole thing will actually come off or you can just slide it around but as you loosen up the screw you don't need to take the screw out you can just loosen it and move it to the position that you want to you don't have to tighten it up with pliers hand tight is plenty so I've already preset this one the on, on one which is the green one to about 4 p.m. and then this is the off tripper so this is the time that the actual timer will cease sending power to the outside lights I set that to 8 a.m. And again, it's just a twist of this knob. Kind of tighten this one up a little bit. And then this just slides around. But this is the most important pieces of the timer itself outside of the uh, actually setting the clock. So most of the time when a timer isn't working in one of these commercial buildings, it's because the first thing is the time is not set correctly, indicated by this pointer set to 11 a.m. This isn't going to matter. You're going to have to change it when the power actually gets turned on at the building. But the only thing you would need to do is just set it for whatever actual time it is when the power is actually turned on at the building from this electrical panel. I've checked out to see which breaker it was. It's the one that's marked with this red tape, which is number 13, and it's uh, I have it listed as parking lot light. I also wrote it down inside of here as breaker number 13. So that'll be on. Once that comes on, it'll turn the power on. You just simply need to set the time.